Hello. Carnival here at Lela for kids, school kids to make friends and connect together. This one. Kids have been coming here for this support year now. There are good things happening here. and Storytelling Festival it brings together three Aboriginal schools from remote Central Australia who for a period of three or four days participate in quite a structured program around poetry and storytelling and around sporting activities. The simple theme being healthy body, healthy mind. So these children come from schools where the numbers in the schools are very small and they come from regions that are very remote. The whole object of the festival is to have kids not just wanting to go to school, but wanting to go above and beyond what they would normally do at school. And we find that the school attendance after the festival goes up, and we find now that the kids are looking forward to the festival each year. What are we here for? The sports! sports. I really like bringing kids out to Lilla. When they first came, they were just staring and, and shy. But now look, they can now walk around together. I like being involved with the festival because you can see that the kids' confidence is growing year on year. They're learning new things and they're making new friendships and that's what I love to, to watch. The clinic is very, a very big supporter of the festival uh, because it means a lot to the communities and to the young people who come. Over the past couple of years I've had the opportunity to share with the children various talks on, on health and the kids like that. They like to know that um, the exercise they're doing is, is helping to make their body stronger and, and healthier. This year's festival is particularly exciting for us because it's a culmination of a number of years involvement with Poetry in Action. Poetry in Action are fantastic at bringing, being able to bring these kids out of their shell so that they can build that confidence up to be able to present themselves in career and employment opportunities in the future. Through drama, they can get skills and confidence to change their lives. They're kids that just make you smile. They ooze wisdom. They ooze their culture, their history, their heritage. They know where they're from. These kids, they most of the times wouldn't have opportunities like we're trying to give them. You know, they love coming to this sports storytelling festival. If we didn't have the festival, these kids wouldn't get to meet each other and learn that they've got cousins just over the mountain ridge. They wouldn't get to come together and make new friends that speak the same language. They wouldn't be able to get the exposure to proud Indigenous university graduates. Uh, a decent education is something that every Australian deserves. I think it's so important to bring AFL football out into these remote areas because it encourages the kids to come to school if they know that there's going to be footy on. As, as part of my role to go out, so I sort of go to these schools all the time. It's great seeing them real happy. I'd like to see more city people coming out here, you know. Mixing up with the kids will open, break down the barriers between us and them. The engine room of our festival are our volunteers. All, all, all of the volunteers who come out to Lilla all say universally that the experience of connecting with the Aboriginal people and the community out here at Lilla is life-changing. It's an opportunity that you just don't get living in cities to connect with Aboriginal people on their country and to hear their stories which are incredibly powerful and quite spiritual. We have such an amazing culture and such remarkable people that connect us to what it means to be an Australian. 
the Wataka Foundation was set up to help Indigenous children into the future and help them have a strong, healthy education and to support their parents, their grandparents and also the school teachers in remote schools that uh, have a hard time getting resources. What we're doing out here is supporting the long-term growth and development of Australia's first people. We're hugely grateful to the support given to the Wataka Foundation with supporting the festival. It wouldn't be possible without outside funding. The Foundation needs your help. People that have the passion to better the lives of our Indigenous brothers and sisters. By giving these kids a good education, we're giving them a choice. A choice for a bright future. Thank you. Yours.